Well, welcome everybody. I hope you're enjoying the videos. If there's anything that you'd like to know or any questions or concerns you have, just leave comments. No problem. I'll get to answer them all. I'll try my best anyway. So, the last segment, seeing how we got this set up and how we actually routed out, how we routed out, <coughs> excuse me, Hunter's room. That was on the last segment. So this one, we're going to be doing, because this is going to be, it's going to be for Minecraft, which is a video game. Uh, so now we're going to be setting up the sign crafter uh, templates. We got to take these out and reset it for Minecraft. So again, we just got to take these ends off here. And if you don't mind, just hit like, share, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Would be great if you're enjoying it or if it's Anything else you'd like to know or see, just uh, leave a comment and let me know. Take these all out. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the couplers on the track system because. Uh, Minecraft obviously is longer than what this section will allow me, so I got to keep it added on. So now, just see what's there. Have them just in case we need any. And there's just little slots here that this slides into. Keep that up at the way. Again, bring it down very really tight. That's the number one. I need the oh, eye. Here we go. Now you could just go right here and just click them in and then slide them down. Because as of right now, you still got a bit of play on this, right? Double check, make sure you're getting exactly what you want. See, it just goes past, it just goes past the first rails. So now we got M I N E C R A F T, Minecraft. So now, obviously, like I said before in the last episode, now we just got to fill in this space. So I'll get them numbers that I had first. And Minecraft is one word. <coughs> Don't get separated. Not like the mistake I made the last time. I done. Uh, I had to correct it. Probably people probably seen it in the in the last segment. I never had a space between Hunter's room, so I just had to release it and put in. Uh, just put in uh, a space. That's why you take the time and size everything up. Make sure you got what you want. Now I think that might be enough. Slide this to one side. Get it out of the way. Nope, I gotta add in this here. There we go. Now again, we got to loosen that screw. For that stop that's there, or that stay. Get that in tight there. 
And again, just tighten these in. Get them in finger tight first. And then I just like to snug them up just to make sure it's not going to slide. Don't go too tight because you don't want to break. You don't want to break because then this is only plastic. So now, again, make sure this is all down tight before you set in that stop. And again, these here are just spacers to take up to take up the last bit of slack. Push that stay up tight. Make sure none of this can move. Yep, they're all tight. Tighten that down. There we go. Now again, like the last time, now we got to find the center from the M to the T. So we're to get that center. Then we'll slide this over for our center mark. So I just hooks on there. There's a little spot there to put your measuring tape. And we have 20, 20 and 7 16 So 20, 7 16 So we need 10 and 7 30 seconds for center. So We'll move this at 10 and 7.30 seconds. One, three, seven. Seven. There we go, right there. So now, this edge right here is dead center between right here and right here. So we'll just move these down here now. I'm just going to buddy all of these up where he belongs. Oh, that's a number two. I just like to keep them together because uh, that way then uh, that way then you can keep track of them and uh, he knows what they're all to now again in our first segment I showed getting center and drawing a little center line on your workpiece now this edge here is going to go to the center line right there and then I also in uh, in the last segment I showed uh, how to get your spacing so now hunter's room is here now minecraft is going to be here and it's going to be center of everything and then we'll have a space in the middle to put and also on the ends to put some um, designs in, like I explained before, but you, this is ones that you got to make for to have symbols for the mine, some of the Minecraft tools. So again, now we got to move this down here so I can get to be able to clamp it to the bench. Just make sure where, where we want to be, right there. I always use I always use this here. For lining up that gives me my uh, inch and seven sixteenths from the edge of the wood to the top of the letter and that's what I like to go with because then it gives me lots of room to do a profile edge around the workpiece so now we're just going to clamp this down and again this is the proper clamps that comes with this kit sign crafter kit there again they're a low profile clamp so that when they're here, 
they're not sticking up in the way for the railroad. Now again, most important thing with all this is, is remembering, again, you're dealing with power tools. Now make sure you understand how the power tool works. Understand your power tool. Because, again, power tools can hurt you. And obviously, I got to go back over right here. There's one thing I forgot. Always make sure you wear your safety glasses. Because when you're routering, you got dust flying out and you don't want to get nothing in your eyes. And also make sure you keep your hands out of the way. Always know your workspace, what you're working with. Keep your mind on your task. And if you follow that and take your time working with it, never rush through it. Always take your time. And uh, because the more you take your time and lay everything out, the better your project is going to be. So now we're going to set up again. So remembering again, using a plunge router for those who... Uh, may not seen the last episode and if you're not familiar with a plunge router this is your lever here and the plunge router does, this is what a plunge router does and you let go of that lever and it'll stay in place now you got to set up your router for depth and everything which i already done because i routered this that was all explained in the last segment and again I always make sure before you turn your router on and you get your router bit and everything down This is your collet Check to make sure everything is going to ride nice for you as you get going You will have to move this stay out of your way That way then it's not in the way of the router But this is just to keep all of this from spreading apart and your letters falling out And again, always make sure you wear your safety glasses. And this is before you do anything. Just get to uh, figure out how it's going to go for you. And again, you always got to make sure that you keep your collet riding tight against the jigs. All along. Because you want and take your time because uh, you don't want to uh, you want nice straight lines with your loaders anyway we're going to try this now we'll get this uh, carved out and see how it turns out
so as you're going you get the dust out of your way and now you can check see if you're see if it's all rendered out good and if you feel down here there's little points so now I got to get them a couple little points there that I got to get so that's uh, pretty much it I'll get them little points and then uh, that'll be it for that I'll move this out of my way It's all good. So now let go of your clamps. And you always double check before you let go of your clamps because if you don't check before you let go of your clamps, it's going to be harder to line everything up after in the exact same spot. Right, so here we have it. So we have Hunter's Room Minecraft. And here's, I'll move this over out of the way for now, I guess. Well, there's our M. So there's our Minecraft. This is just fillers. So that's setting that up and doing the routering. <coughs> now, obviously, <coughs> Once all of the routing and everything is done, you're going to have sanding to do because you got uh, little burrs here of wood, right? So you'll be sanding, but when you're sanding, you'll be sanding all that flush like this, and when you sand it down, all that'll disappear. So on the next segment, I'm going to be setting this up with uh, with some of these templates that I had to make that's actually going to fit so basically I'll turn this around so basically they're going to fit in here like that but I won't be able to do put the three of them in there I'll be doing one at a time and I'll be doing uh, I'll be doing uh, one on each side and cross here in the middle because I still got room because my measurements when I've done it my measurements allowed me to have something across here so if you got any questions or concerns or any comments please leave them and I'll try to answer them and uh, thanks for watching and please like or subscribe and uh, yeah so that's part three of Reutering on a Sign thank you very much and have a good day